Hey guys, it's SirSpid4, and I'm here to give you a couple of tips to spend less time in the Lost Sectors because they're the most boring and dull things in the Destiny universe. So the first tip is you're going to check your ghost shell to see if you have any of the armor mods. You're going to want to look for the armor mod of the stat that you want to farm on these exotics because it'll give you at least 10 of that stat but have a higher chance to drop with the stat that you want. If you look at these gloves I have right here, they are trash, but if you look after I put on the mod, I got a, the same gloves, which are also still trash, but they at least have 17 recovery. But when the mod works to its full potential, it'll drop these bad boys. And that's when the mod proved itself to me. The second most important tip is to check YouTube videos for useful loadouts. And I'm not talking about the YouTube videos where the bros go like, Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Destiny YouTuber. Here's the best way to do it. I'm talking about the speedrunners. They have mastered the way to run these things fast over and over again. The speedrunners have just like a, a motivation to figure out how to do it as fast as possible. I learned a crazy strat from this uh, speedrun video right here. As you can see in the background footage, I'm using Astrocyte, Verse, and Blink. Something I would never think to use, but it really makes these Lost Sectors go faster. You can just blink right to the champions, stun them, and then kill them, and blink right to the next ones. So there's a caveat in this strategy in that it's mostly going to be tied towards Warlocks since most speedrunners are Warlocks. But if you do manage to find a Hunter or Titan speedrun, it's going to be worth your while. Because if you take a look at this, I managed to beat the Lost Sector in only a minute and 38. But if we take a look at the YouTubers, they're only at the second unstoppable phalanx when I've completed the last sector. The third tip is to not be discouraged to only run uh, Legend Lost Sectors instead of Masters. Because there was evidence going around that said Legend Lost Sectors have a 1 in 4 chance of dropping an exotic, while Master only has a uh, 1 in 3 chance. So if you're spending only like a minute and a half, like in this Lost Sector, for each Legend run, instead of like a 10 minute run because you're really under light, you're going to have overall more uh, exotics to drop in Le Legend Lost Sectors than if you were to struggle in Masters. But if you are on level for Masters and can complete them in a comparable time to Legends, it's definitely worthwhile to run for that extra percent chance of dropping. That should cover it. Like and subscribe if I helped you out.